All right. So my, my depression I've described as, you know, the Battle of the Somme in World War One. And yes, it, to me, it feels like I am at war with my mind. Well, it's not my mind. It's something within me that is trying to fight against who I am, fight against what I want to do, fight against the very rationality and analytical nature of who I am. And that is the hard part. So, whereas the Battle of the Somme analogy was this constant stupid um, throwing resources and trying to completely overwhelm the other side hoping to gain a few more feet you know if doing this with my depression the get over it push through it work through it you know persevere this doesn't work or has not been working for me if it had um given all the effort i've tried putting into this over the last what forever i shouldn't be suffering this badly i need to quit doing what isn't working and so for me what it means is um for the first time in 28 years, I am on my own completely. You know, I have no pets. I have no kids that are going to be living with me. I have no wife, girlfriend, anything like that. I am on my own. And it means for the next year, until my youngest son, Max, comes back from Costa Rica, I literally can choose to do what I want, where I want, and why I want to. I, I, I don't need to answer anybody else. And what I'm going to try and do is I am radically going to reduce everything in my life. I am going to get rid of all the stuff in my life that I can easily replace um, at some future point and only keep the things that have truly a strong sentimental value. Pictures, um, you know, there's one coffee table, um, there's, you know, um, various books and things like that, but it's actually not a lot. I'm realizing all the rest of it, it's not high, very high quality stuff that I have. It's not like I spent a fortune on any of this. I can replace quite easily. So the idea is to reduce it down, store the stuff that I do want to have again in the future, reduce myself down to maybe a suitcase and a backpack and little else. And with a very simplified life, with very little responsibility, nobody other people, no other stuff, no nothing, to see what I can do with that, to see whether this radical retrenching of my life will help me come up with a way to manage this depression that might actually work that might actually come up with a way for me to um, no longer be in a fight with it, but be able to figure out how I can manage it and move forward, how I can quit having it push all my defensive buttons, push my pride issues, and get to the point of where I can go, okay, I can let this go. I can just let it be. And I think that's going to work. And part of the point of these videos is to hold myself personally accountable to what I'm trying to do to see if it will work. Um, and that's, I don't know. I, it, it, right now, it's an experiment. Um, the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work particularly well and I have to go back, I have to rent a place, I have to buy all the stuff back. Well, I do that. But at the moment, the idea is to free myself and free myself enough that if I wanted to, I could just throw a backpack on my back and head off down the Trans-Canada Trail and keep walking until I finish walking or take a job somewhere else or um, do something, you know, basically offer somebody, hey, I'll come in, I'll live at your place and I will help you do X, Y, Z. I, I have no restrictions of what I can do. The only ongoing cost I have in my life is um, the phone bill. I don't have a lot of stuff that make easy to move around and that is very freeing. The weight off my shoulders just from, from realizing I'm going to give up this house, I'm going to give up all this stuff is actually remarkably great. It's meant that I've had more good days than bad days over the last um, week, and it's only been a week since I decided I was going to do this. Um, it's good. And today, today started off as a bad day, but even doing talking to these videos has certainly improved what the day is like. And I'm going to go take a bath, and then I'm going to head out, and I'm going to see what the day brings me. Um, I do need to come, do need a bunch more um, emptying of the house stuff here, but that that I can do it a little bit later. It's no longer a daunting task. I've already gotten rid of enough stuff and removed enough stuff that I am not overwhelmed with the task that needs to be done. So, freeing myself. Will it work? I don't know. We will see. I will talk about it. I will post about it. And I will see myself through the videos whether it is going to do the trick. Thanks. Please feel free to leave comments because I'm... I'm figuring this out as I go along. Bye.